the 99% or 98% Hello? Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Nikki and today's video I have a grocery haul from Walmart. So we didn't get much stuff. We're actually going on a trip for a wedding this weekend. So it's midweek. We just needed a few things, but like a lot of kind of pantry staple items. So I still got some groceries. So we have stuff before we leave. And right when we come home, I have food that I can make, but I'm gonna go ahead and run through what we got from Walmart. So if you enjoy this video or find it helpful, please go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. And let's get started. So I didn't wanna get too much produce because first of all, I already have apples and blueberries and bananas. So I didn't need to grab those things and lettuce. So I start, I have some produce in the fridge right now, but I did want to grab a couple things that I needed. So I just got some matchstick carrots. These are zero points. It's just a good option for bowls. I'm going to be making a poke bowl. So I needed some of these. They're zero points. I also got some bell peppers. So I know we have some in the fridge, but I just needed a couple more. So I just grabbed some orange bell peppers. I just need those for veggie mix. Same with some zucchini. So I grabbed three zucchini, probably more than what we need. I know Trevor needs some and I'm gonna be making a veggie mix like I said, but I'm hoping in the next few days we're actually gonna have a few zucchini from the garden. So then at that point, we pretty much just have to stop buying zucchini for the year because we are going to have so much and I'm so excited for it. So that's probably the last time I'll be buying zucchini, but we'll see. And then we needed some grapes. So I just got these red seedless grapes. They're zero points. I like to have these with breakfast or lunch just as a side. I always want something sweet after I finish my meal and fruit is something that really helps just to satisfy that sweet craving right away. So I like to have grapes on hand. Okay, then for meats and actually cheese really quick, I got some Fiesta Blend Reduced Fat Great Value Cheese. This one actually, when you scan it with the WW app, it shows up as four points, but when you type in the nutrition, it's three points for the serving. So for a third cup, which is 28 grams, it is three points on WW. It's 90 calories, six grams of fat. It's got one carb and seven grams of protein. And this is just a good basic cheese to have on hand when I wanna make a quesadilla or a pasta or a pizza bake or eggs, anything like that. It works for pretty much everything. It's got reduced fat, Monterey Jack, cheddar, asadero, and queso quesadilla cheeses. Okay, then we needed some more bacon. So this is just center cut bacon. It is two points for two slices on WW, and that's why I like to get it. It's a lower point option that you could have two slices with. It is 60 calories for two slices, four and a half grams of fat, and it's got five grams of protein. And I just cooked this thing all at once. I put it on a baking sheet with a foil on it, and I bake it in the oven. And then I put it in a black like storage food container in the fridge, and then we could just grab like one to two pieces whenever we need it. Sometimes I even like to just grab one to add to my eggs because it adds so much flavor and it's only one point. I also grabbed some turkey pepperoni. So we've just been making a lot of pizza bakes lately and we really enjoy the turkey pepperoni. I also really like to use this in pizza bowls, especially when I crisp it up in the air fryer first. It is two points for the serving and the serving is 17 slices. Sometimes when I make recipes, I only use 10 slices for one point, but two points for 17 slices. It's got 70 calories, four grams of fat, and nine grams of protein in that serving. So it is a good higher protein option for like a snack or just to add to meals. These are new to us. I've never gotten them before. They're the Caprese Gilbert's Craft Sausages and they're chicken sausages. So they have basil, mozzarella, and sun-dried tomatoes. It's gluten-free, pork-free, and they're fully cooked. For one link, it's three points on WW. It's 130 calories, seven grams of fat, two carbs. It's got one gram of fiber, one gram of sugar, and 13 grams of protein. And one of my favorite things about this brand, because we've tried another one, I think we've tried their apple sausages, but I like that they come individually packaged like this because there are so many times where we don't go through a pack of sausages fast enough and because it's open, it just like goes bad so much quicker. So I really like that they have these individually wrapped. You could just go ahead and like take one at a time. But yeah, I'm excited to try these. I think these will be a really good option for pasta. They actually have it in the back on pasta or like a pasta salad and it looks really good. So I'm excited to try these out. Three points for one link is not bad at all. And those will work for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Then I got some Jenny O ground turkey. This is actually a three pound container. So I just got this. Honestly, I probably won't use it till we get back from the wedding, but I figured then I have some meat on hand. So if I even wanna just use like half of it and make turkey burgers, 
or I could make a big batch of turkey burgers. I could save some for taco meat. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. This isn't zero points on WW because it is the 93% lean. The 99% or 98% are the zero point options for ground turkey, but this is four points for four ounces. Still worth it and a really good high protein option. It's got 170 calories in four ounces, eight grams of fat, and 22 grams of protein. And then I needed some more imitation crabs, so this is just the brand that they had. These ones were bigger than normal, so I don't know what the exact serving size is by stick, but for a half cup, it is four points on WW. It's 110 calories, one gram of fat, 22 carbs, it's got four grams of sugar and five grams of protein, and this is also another one that I really like to use in poke bowls. I need it for sesame noodles and just anything. I really like imitation crab, so I try to incorporate it in a bunch of different recipes. It's just a good option to add some variety. Okay, then moving on, I got some canned green beans. So these are my favorite ones to get. They're just the French style, no salt added. It's zero points on WW, and I like to make my green bean veggie mix with this, which is just green bean, mushroom, and onion, but one of our favorite side dishes. Both of us actually get excited every time I make it as a side dish, and we eat all of it, and it's just one of our favorite options. So zero points for that. Then I got some taco seasoning. So this is just the mild Taco Bell taco seasoning. This is just our favorite to use for meat. I just have tried a bunch of different brands, and after all of them, we always go back to the Taco Bell one, so it works well because we like Taco Bell. It feels like we can have it at home without actually going to Taco Bell and having their food. We can control everything and stuff, and we can add, like, ground turkey to make it higher in protein, so yeah. It's just good to have that as an option. Then we needed some pasta, so they only had one type of the Barilla Protein Plus noodles like this. They had some of the angel hair, so we did get that, but I actually got two boxes of the penne pasta because this is just our favorite pasta to use. I use it all the time, and I just wanted to make sure we had some because we're completely out. For the serving of two ounces, it's four points on WW. It's 190 calories, one gram of fat, 38 carbs. It's got five grams of fiber, two grams of sugar, and 10 grams of protein. And then I also got the angel hair, like I said. So these were the only two types they had. Actually, I think they had spaghetti too, but... This is just what we got, and it is also four points for two ounces. It's 190 calories, a gram of fat, 38 carbs, 10 grams of protein, so pretty much the same. And just another good pasta option. I like to use it with white sauce, red sauce, tuna noodles, taco pasta, like pretty much any recipe we're making. That's the pasta we're using, unless we're using bonza. So I do like the bonza cavatappi a lot. I've been having more issues with the chickpea pasta just kind of falling apart, so that's why I do prefer the Barilla now, but I still do really like the Bonza and I always get some when we go to the store, especially the Cavatappi. So I like to get this because it has more protein and it's got more fiber. It also has fewer carbs than regular pasta. For the serving of two ounces, it's four points on WW. It's 190 calories, three grams of fat, 35 carbs. It's got five grams of fiber, one gram of sugar, and 11 grams of protein. And usually with this one, the boxes are eight ounces. So Adam and I will actually split it when I make a meal. So this will be a four ounce serving that we have, and it's usually seven to eight points, depending on the type of noodle. I've been out of panko breadcrumbs for a while, so I just really needed to grab these. I don't usually use like the serving size for it. This is just an ingredient that I use when I bread chicken or when I make turkey burgers, so I just measure it out as I use it. Then Adam needed some buffalo sauce, so this is just the Sweet Baby Ray's buffalo wing sauce. So it's zero points for the tablespoon, which is 20 calories, two grams of fat, but I think it's one point if you have two tablespoons, but this is just a buffalo sauce he likes to use as like a dip for chicken and stuff, or he uses it on his wraps. He uses it for pretty much everything. I think he might drink it, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, then we both needed some Taco Bell sauce. So this is Adam's. He likes the hot. I like the mild. They're both zero points for us, zero calories, and we like to use them when we have tacos or different type of like taco style meals. Then I needed some grated Parmesan as well. So like these were all the basic things I needed. Like I said, I needed pasta, panko, different stuff like that. But I needed some Parmesan cheese. So we've just been out of it. It's an ingredient I like to randomly add to different recipes. If it's like pasta or vegetables or potatoes or something like that, I just always like to have that on hand because you can add just a little bit and it adds flavor and then it'll still be like a one point serving. It's 20 calories for two teaspoons, one gram of protein and one point. Then we got some Ezekiel bread. So this is the Ezekiel sesame. This is two points for one slice or three points for two slices. It's 80 calories for a slice, one gram of fat. It's got 15 carbs, three grams of fiber and five grams of protein in a slice. And this is one of the breads that I, usually I'm picky when they have like seeds and stuff on the 
crust, but I just love the sesame seeds on it. I think it adds a good flavor and I think this bread toasts up really well. So we like to use it for breakfast sandwiches or lunches or French toast or whatever bread we need, we use that. I got some shredded hash browns. These are the Simply Potatoes brand. So these are one point for the serving. For some reason, all these scan incorrectly. Whenever I scan them, they say the wrong points, but usually like the, for these especially the servings always off but for the serving of two-third cup it's a point on ww it's 70 calories 15 carbs two grams of fiber and two grams of protein and another option that i like to just have in the fridge to make for breakfast so i can make a little bit and then put it into a breakfast burrito or i can use it as a base for a breakfast bowl it doesn't matter but i like to just have those ready in the fridge to use I needed some tortillas, so I've been wanting to make mini barbecue and buffalo quesadillas, and I really like to use the corn tortillas for that. These are pretty much one point per tortilla, so the serving is two tortillas for two points. They're a gram of fat for that serving, 21 carbs, two grams of fiber, two grams of sugar, and two grams of protein. And they also work really well as tortilla chips in the air fryer. Okay, I haven't gotten these in a while. These are the Joseph's flatbreads. They are 60 calories for half of one, which is one point. If you have an entire one, it's two points on WW. But for half the serving, it's 60 calories, one and a half grams of fat, eight carbs, two grams of fiber, and six grams of protein. And these work really well also with like barbecue or buffalo chicken. We like to do like a flatbread or you could do it with tomato sauce and pepperoni and make a pizza out of it. They also fold well to make any type of like wrap or something. So we really like these. These are just the plain ones that they have. Okay, wrapping it up with the rest of the stuff we have, we got some Greek yogurt. This is just the Chobani non-fat plain Greek yogurt. It's zero points on WW. And this is my favorite yogurt to use to make two ingredient dough. We've tried a couple other brands and I always end up going back to Chobani, but for the serving, like I said, it is zero points, but for three quarter cup, it's 90 calories. It's got six carbs, six grams of sugar, and 16 grams of protein, so a good high protein option. I also got my vanilla yogurt, so this is the Dan and Light and Fit Vanilla Greek Yogurt. This one is two points for the serving, which actually, no, it's three points for the serving. The serving on here is three quarter cup. It's 90 calories, 10 carbs, eight grams of sugar, and 14 grams of protein. But what I usually do with this is I just weigh out my portion. So I'll just weigh out a two point portion, which is like 130 grams or something. So that's what I usually do with this. I got some light sour cream and I like to just get it in the squeeze bottle like this. It's just convenient. So usually I can put my dish on the food scale and then just squeeze out the portion that I want. But for two tablespoons, it is 35 calories, it's two and a half grams of fat, one gram of sugar, and two grams of protein. And for the serving of two tablespoons, it's two points on WW. Adam needed some cold brew. So this is just the plain unsweetened black cold brew that he likes to get. It's 15 calories for 12 ounces and three carbs and it's zero points on WW. He likes to add skinny syrup and cashew milk or if we have like a cashew cream or anything, but we do have some cashew milk. So this is the silk creamy cashew milk. For the serving of a cup, it's one point on WW. It's 25 calories, two grams of fat, and one carb and i use this for pretty much everything especially like protein shakes but also if i need any type of milk for a recipe i usually use the cashew milk i needed more queso just for bowls and wraps so this is the paste nacho jalapeno queso dip this is one point for the serving of two tablespoons it is 35 calories two and a half grams of fat three carbs and it's just a good option because I can just heat up the serving, drizzle it on top of my burrito, or just add it to a bowl or even have it with like chips or something. And it's a good serving for only one point. It satisfies the craving. I think it has good flavor and it's just a good lower point option for like those types of cheeses. Then Adam picked out the Chipotle bitchin' sauce. So he really, really likes these sauces. He likes the almond flavor to them because they are made from almonds. This one is a little bit on the spicy side, so for the serving of two tablespoons, it's three points on WW. It's got 90 calories, nine grams of fat, two carbs, and two grams of protein. So like I said, it is made from almonds, so that's just what makes it a higher fat dip and makes it higher point, but it's still a good option. These still have really good flavor and it's just a good snack option, bowl option. You can have it with a wrap, whatever you want. Then we got this hummus. So we've really been enjoying this brand specifically, Fresh Cravings. It is the lemon garlic hummus. So we haven't tried this flavor yet, but I'm excited to see what we think of it. I feel like it'll be pretty refreshing for like a summer hummus, but for two tablespoons, it's two points on WW. It's 70 calories, five grams of fat, 
five carbs, one gram of sugar, and two grams of protein. Then Adam needed some breakfast sandwiches. So these are the Jimmy Dean Delight English Muffin breakfast sandwiches. These ones have turkey sausage, egg white, and cheese. They're eight points for one and just really convenient for him to bring to work. He has not gotten sick of these. He's been buying these from the start pretty much of our journey. They're almost every day. Yeah, and he still eats them like almost every day and he just loves them. So 270 calories for one, eight grams of fat, 31 carbs, two grams of fiber, three grams of sugar, and 18 grams of protein. And as you guys know, he always just douses his in hot sauce. Then I got some of the Kashi Chocolate Crunch cereal. So I like to switch off between the chocolate and the peanut butter. This is just a good option for some crunch on my yogurt. So when I make a yogurt, I use the Dan and Lighten Fit Greek yogurt. I use some type of cereal, so either this or what I'll show you guys in a second, but I'll use this and then some berries and it's just the perfect amount. You can do a two point serving, which is about 20 grams and it's usually the perfect crunch. So. I don't go by this specifically because the serving for this is 52 grams, which is three quarter cup. It's six points on WW. Usually I weigh out a two point serving. Then the Love Crunch granola is also really good. I like to use it for yogurt as well, but also sometimes I just like to snack on it. For the serving of a quarter cup, it's four points on WW. It's 150 calories, five grams of fat. It's got 18 carbs, two grams of fiber, six grams of sugar, and four grams of protein. And another thing that Adam and I have been buying almost from the start not actually from the start though because we found this from a snack review from someone recommending it to us but this has become one of our favorite things that we buy all the time all the time and then the last thing these off the eaten path crisps are so good specifically the jalapeno flavors so they have a few other flavors we the three of us agree that we love the jalapeno one it's so good it's got just such good flavor to it and they are seasoned really well. For the serving of 13 pieces, it's three points on WW. It's 130 calories, five grams of fat, 19 carbs, three grams of fiber, and three grams of protein. And this is just one of my favorite salty snacks. It's good in snack mixes, but also just like with a sandwich or a wrap or something. I really like these. Okay, so that wraps up everything that we got from Walmart today. Definitely not a lot of produce, not a lot of meats or proteins or anything, but just because, like I said, we're gonna be going out of town for a few days. And so we just needed stuff to have before we go and for when we get back. And this is pretty much what we needed. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. It, and we will see you next time. Bye.